my name is Jenna Cantor, and this is an evidence-based discussion on injury prevention for dancers. Today, we will be discussing a hip labral tear, and the evidence I use can be seen in the description below. What is a hip labral tear? It is a tear of the labrum, otherwise known as the cartilage, at the hip joint. Let's look at a picture. This is a normal hip joint. So this bone here is both the hip and pelvic bone connected together that makes up that area. And then here is the femur that makes up the leg. This is a normal labrum. It attaches to this little white circle area of the femur that makes up the hip joint. This is a wonderful illustration of a labral tear where you can see the top of the labrum is torn. Symptoms include a locking or clicking sensation, stiffness or a loss of range of motion, or pain at the hip. It can be caused by a trauma, such as a dislocation of your hip, a repetitive movement, which happens, as you know, a lot in dance, or it could be by a congenital abnormality or some weird growth that might be happening in your bone, so it's rubbing against that labrum. Because dancers are hypermobile, also known as flexible, I am going to be focusing on hip stability for prevention. This is a great picture of the gluteal muscles that can help out with the stability of the hip joint. The gluteus medius and gluteus minimus are on the sides of your hip that help with abducting, moving your leg away from your midline. And the gluteus maximus in the back of your hip, basically the buttock area, extends the leg and will cause stability there. This is a great exercise for the hip abductors, the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, where you have the TheraBand around your ankles and you sidestep in a little squat. When you're in this small squat, you will also be working your gluteal muscles as well. This is a wonderful alternate exercise you may use. It's called glute bridges with the TheraBand around the thighs. The TheraBand activates the gluteus medius and minimus, and then raising your glutes up towards the ceiling activates your gluteus maximus for strengthening. That's it. That concludes today's discussion on how to prevent a hip labral tear. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please contact me. I would be happy to hear from you. Thank you so much. Bye.